Welcome to Zion City Gate Church International YouTube channel. We are happy to have you join us today. You are more than welcome to join us at any of our physical locations. Make sure you subscribe to stay blessed with new videos. Get ready as we are about to partake of the glory of God. We love you. Stay blessed. Somebody shout a big hallelujah. hallelujah. Please, if you know that God has remembered you already, shout the biggest hallelujah. I, wa I want you to turn to your neighbor. Say, neighbor, God is about to change your life. And God is changing your life. I want you to move around and congratulate somebody. Tell them God has changed your life. Hallelujah. Amen. You can have your seat. God bless you. <laughs> Amen. The Lord is good. And all the time. Amen. I like the attitude. Um, you know, I, I said to them uh, during the afternoon service, I believe in Lefke or Magosa, I can't remember, that when you believe God for something, you must have the right attitude for it. Believing is not just to accept what God has said, but you need to allow the atmosphere of what you are expecting to come forth in your life. That means if you're expecting God for a breakthrough, you have to be excited about it. That's how to show that you truly believe in whatsoever you are expecting from God. It is actually a fake faith for you to say that you believe in something but you are not walking in the joy of it. It is the joy of receiving something spiritually that actually makes it manifest in your life physically. And remember that this month and next year we are running with a vision of obtaining a good report and we've been able to establish this fact that we need faith to actually obtain a good report hebrews 11 and verse 2 said for by it the elders obtained a good report and we've been believing god for a good report for 2021 it wouldn't matter what the world is saying we shall obtain a good report in the name of jesus so i want you to set your mind on good reports and when we talk about good reports we are simply talking about god's will for our lives you cannot just say something is good or of good report if not that the thing is also the will of God for you. So when we say that we're going to obtain a good report, we are simply saying that by faith, we're going to obtain everything that is within the will of God for our lives in 2021. And God said in his word that I know the plans, the thoughts that I'm thinking towards you, a thought of good and not of evil. Some Bible use the word a thought of peace, but they all mean the same thing. He said to give you an expected end. I want you to know, even before you have you stepping into 2021, everything God has for you, you shall receive them and you shall walk with them and in them in the name of Jesus. Listen, I want you to understand something here. The reason I'm telling you this over and over again is so that you can accept it and make it part of your mindset. Your mindset must see it, must meditate on it, 
must believe it, must speak it. Even while you are sleeping, your mind should be saying to you, I've made it already in 2021. This is the reality of the kingdom. This is how we give birth to great things in this kingdom. The Bible said, as we have believed, so we speak. But I want to show you some things in the scriptures. It's not just about believing God for his will in our lives. We need to also understand that God wants us to know what his will for our lives are. Now, if you look at your life, there are certain things that you need to let go. And there are certain things that you need to accept or allow to come into your life. And what determines, you know, how you let things go or how you allow them come back into your life should be according to the will of God for you. Because what is within the will of God for me probably is not the same for you. So you need to understand what is God's will for you. What are those things that you will call a good report in your own life? And that's why we shared something, uh, I think last week, when we said that every good gift and every perfect gift come from above and from the Father of light. Not just a good gift, but also a perfect gift. That something is good for you does not mean it's perfect for you. Only God can give you something good and also make sure that it's perfect for you. You can meet somebody that is good, but that person is not perfect for you. So we need to understand that knowing the will of God is key for 2021. Knowing what he wants for you. How he wants you to live your life. How he wants you to speak. The things he wants you to walk in. They are keys to you seeing yourself obtaining a good report. But I want you to know something here, friends. Nothing really changes when we refuse to change in our mindset, when we still think the same way. And I want to make this announcement, friends. Things don't change by calendar. That one day we are going to shout, Happy New Year does not mean everything has changed spiritually. It's just a calendar. It's just a number. The same way you will sleep today and wake up tomorrow and that is a different day, a different number of day and all those stuff. The same way we are going to wake up on the 1st of January and we say, oh, welcome to 2021. But that does not guarantee any change for you in life. It's just another calendar. It's just another number. But there could be certain things that when you do, you can provoke a change for your 2021. The same mindset that allowed certain things that you are not happy about in 2020 should not be the same mindset you are going to go into 2021 with. Because if you go into 2021 with the same mindset, with the same approach to things, it's likely you are going to still experience the same things in your life. And I believe there is nobody here that wants to experience the same thing. You know, all the stuff that happened to you in 2020, you see them again happening in 2021. I don't believe somebody here is praying for that. Just like I said to them, I think in Magosa, and I said, you know, probably you look at your life in 2021, maybe in the area of relationship, you notice that you've, you went through three relationships this year and all of them did not work out. And then what you are doing already, is, I can't wait for 2021. Let me just find that right person. The question is not about finding the right person. The question is, have you changed your mindset? Because if you made the first choice and you didn't give yourself time to upgrade in your mind, you're still going to use the same mindset to choose the same person, kind of person, because that is just your mindset. And many times we think that we chose somebody different, but it's just somebody in another packaged body. Just the same person. But it, probably the person is taller, is fair, is more handsome. And you think you have upgraded. No, a bad heart is a bad heart. Whether the package is right or wrong. We need to understand that what makes our decision different is when we allow an upgrade in our mind. And that will help you to know, mm, the decision I took yesterday is not good enough for today. And until we allow our minds to be upgraded, 
through the word of God, there are certain things that we will keep missing out. Because it takes your mindset, a mind of Christ to know what God has planned for you. Listen, I want you to understand this. No canal mind can really understand what God is doing. And we really need to transform. We really need to renew our minds. So that when God sends a good thing our way, we know, ah, this is God. This is what God is doing. You know, I want, to, I want you to, to understand this, friends. When you upgrade in your mind, it will help you to drop off some, some stuff, even some people. You begin to understand that people you, 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 you call your close friends are not necessarily good for you. They are good people, but they are not good for your future. You know, I shared something on my Instagram page, and I deleted. I don't know why I do that. I, I post and I delete. You know, God help me. You know, I, I, that you will always meet three sets of people in life. The past people, the present people, and the future people. You know, there are people that enjoy your past so much. They like to stay there always. In short, every time you announce to them that you want to move forward with, in your life, they will tell you, have you forgotten already how I helped you two years ago? They always try to use something of your past to make, you know, to, to justify the fact that you need to still remain with them. And some of us, we've been trying to please people we are not supposed to please. And the Bible says, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. All things are passed away. My friends, there are certain people you allow to pass with that scriptures. If they refuse to allow you to move into the new, let them be part of the old things that passed away. And then you have some people, we call them the present people. They are very comfortable with what you are doing now, but they will never support you when you want to do something new. Every time you want to share a new, you know, vision with them, they will say, is it in Cyprus? You cannot even do it. Just keep doing what you are doing until you leave. You know, people that want you to stay where you are, even everybody has got those kind of people in their lives. Also, I have one. Every time I share vision of what God wants me to do in ministry, there are people who will write me and say, Papa, you, know, you need to stay in Cyprus. They never support anything that I want to do. Anything that is new. They just want me to go every Sunday, go every you know, Tuesday, and stuff like that. You need to understand that there are people in your life, they are good people, but they won't allow you to make new decisions for yourself. And it's time for you to begin to check, make those people, and say, hey, it's like you are the present kind of people. And then you ha we have the future people in our lives, people that will always encourage us to do new, new things. If you have those kind of people in your life, you should hold them very close. But do you know you can't know these kind of people? You, you, it's impossible for you to know what the will of God is for you, except your mind is renewed. How do I know this? If you go to Romans chapter 12 and verse 2, if you go to Romans chapter 12 and verse 2, there's something I want to show you there. The Bible said, it said, I'm being not conformed to this world. He said, I'm being not conformed to this world. What does that signify? What is the world there? The world is a system, a pattern of thinking, a thought pattern. You know, the same way people in Cyprus will say, oh, my, uh, this place, nobody can make it to. People can't make it easily here. People struggle here. You know, the day you, you came to this nation already, you started hearing, ah, people suffer here. This is not like Europe. And what happened? You conform to that mindset. It's a mindset that is not from heaven. It's a mindset that is not originating from the word of God. When people tell you you can't make it, when people tell you you can't prosper, when people tell you your family is messed up, when people tell you you can't move forward so long you are here. And because of that, many of us are creating some visions that are actually limitations. You say, I can't wait to leave this place. And when I get to Canada, when I get to U.S., I will make it. And you still have three years to stay here. That means automatically for three years, you've simply shut down your life life until you get somewhere and some of you have got that kind of vision you don't see anything good here you can't wait to finish school and leave so so long heaven is concerned nothing will happen in your life until you leave here and go to that place that you believe you're going to make it so the thing we call vision becomes a limitation 
So that is conforming to a pattern, conforming to a system, conforming to a, a conclusion by a group of persons that says you can't make it. Who said you can't make it? I prophesy to somebody here. You shall be a son and a wonder in 2021 in the name of Jesus. You, listen, anybody that made it, somebody made it first. There are people we call pioneers in the spirit. They paved the way. They let people know this can be achieved. May God make you a pioneer. What people say they can be, it can be done in North Cyprus. You will stand strong and do it in the name of Jesus. He said, be not, do not conform to the pattern of this world. But be it transformed. Where? In your finances. No. Be it transformed in your academics. Be it transformed in your business. No. Because that is not the dimension where transformation takes place. Transformation must first happen in your mind before it will affect your business. Before it will affect your finances. People are not rich when they are poor in the mind. You have to be rich first here. You know, you will come to that point where you say it's impossible for me to be poor. Not, you can't see it. You see, there are some people who can't be sick because their mind cannot conceive it. And what you can't conceive, you can't give birth to. What you can't conceive, you can't give birth to. It's time for you to stand on your true height and refuse your mind to conceive certain things in your life. Remember, as a man thinketh in his heart, so he is. It is what you are thinking that you become. So you now understand that if the devil wants to degrade you in life, he will project thought patterns. He will project thoughts that will cause you to conform. You came to this nation, they said you can't do it. I remember the first day I came to this nation, they picked me up from Ejan and took me straight on to GAU, um, uh, what's it called? Boys' dormitory. Fixed me in a room around 2 a.m. in the morning. I sat on the bed. I mean, already what I saw from the airport to GAU hostel was enough to tell me, bro, you are in for faith walk. You know, there is a, you know, situation can help you walk easier with faith. Can I tell you the truth? When you go to certain countries, just seeing how the country is set up, it helps your faith. It helps your faith. And there are some places you go, you need supernatural faith. You see, if you are in Guinea, in North Cyprus is better. Levkosia is better. If you ever go to Levke, <laughs> you know you need supernatural. <laughs> How many of you have been to Levke before? So, things around you can help your faith. But the Bible says we walk not by sight. So it means no matter what you see, don't conform to it. Don't agree that this is my reality. Create your own reality. I keep saying it, there is no dry land. We only have dry men. If a land is prosperous, men there are prosperous. Lands don't just become prosperous. Men must impact their prosperity they carry on the land. You can turn any land what you want to receive from it. Every land has got its goods. If you are willing and obedient, you shall eat the good. And I sat there. And then the young man, his name is, um, I've forgotten now. He woke up from Nigeria. He looked at me. First time I'm seeing him, he did not even say, hello, what's your name? He said, are you new? I said, yes, I'm new. He said, do you have return ticket? I said, yes, I do have return ticket. He said, please, enjoy the holiday. Because I told him I have, you know, two weeks interval for return. He said, enjoy two weeks holiday and go back immediately. 
this place is not the kind of place. Now, if you, if you look at North Cyprus today and imagine what North Cyprus, North Cyprus looked like in 2008 when we came here. Some of these places, they were all you know, bushes and stuff like that. And I looked at myself. And he said that and turned immediately and continued sleeping. You know, when a demon wants to deal with you, he brings real character that will enforce... I don't know if I'm talking to somebody here. The same way you have a small problem, when your friends finish with you, you think you are carrying the whole world. They say, you've not paid school fees. An exam is just passing. Do you know extra year? You know, this place is a difficult place. Extra, by the time they finish with you in that situation, they re-multiply the problem. The man just told me, you better finish and go. Two weeks holiday and go. And he turned and went back to sleep. I just sat there. You know, the way you sit there and you just say, mom, you, like, where am I? And then things were just telling me, see you, man of God, you've come. And I stood, I sat on the bed. I didn't sleep that night. I sat on the bed. I opened the curtain. I would look around. Look around. You know, trying to find something to say, bro, have hope. I remember that morning I woke, you know, I, I, I was just there. The guy woke up, took his bath. He said, I hope you remembered what I told you. And I told him something. I didn't say that out of faith, but I said it because I needed to say something. I told him that you, that you are like this does not mean I'm going to end like this. He said, my story will be different. And he laughed at me. He said, we shall see. That's it. Thank God, 12 years later, we are seeing. Listen, if you learn how to hold on to God, he will never fail you. He will never fail you. He will never fail you. And I'm not going to say to you, because I'll be lying from this altar, that many times I didn't feel like to run away. In short, I ran many times. I came here March 2008. By November 4th, 2008, I was headed to America, to the United States. I got a visa, and they were swearing in Obama, I think, that, that particular day, you know. And as I was stepping into America, I said, Father, this is surely prophetic. You are giving me this nation as a possession. I, the day I was entering the United States for the first time. But anyway, you, see, you can see me here, so you know God pursued me from that. <laughs> I, 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 you know, pursued me big time from that place. Amen. But I want you to understand something. Every change starts with the mind. Now, let's finish these scriptures. Please, can you go back to it? He said, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may what? Prove what is what? Good. Now, if you look at the word renewing, it did not say by the renewal. It said by the renewing. That means it's a present continuous. You don't stop renewing your mind. And the more you renew your mind, the more you know what is good. The more you know what is acceptable. The more you know what is perfect will of God for you. That means you need the renewal of the mind or the renewing of the mind to actually know what is good for you. If you are still stuck in the old mindset, you will, even if God is showing you your next level of blessing before you like this, because your mind can't conceive anything, you won't even see it. I hope you know you only see what your mind sees. And when you see what God is trying to do in your life, meditate on it. Believe it. Until the joy of it takes hold of your spirit. I remember those days, I, 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 go, I go to school with school bus. 
you know, and I sat one day, you know, a lady was sitting uh, in front of me, and she was just like this, looking out. So, you know, I was minding my business, but something just said, look at this lady sitting before you. So, I looked at her, and I saw this lady wasn't there. She was just like this, looking out, and then suddenly she would just smile. I said, and I conclude, I said, whatever this lady is thinking about is a reality. She's experiencing the reality of that particular experience. Probably she's thinking about somebody. Not probably, she's thinking about somebody. You know? Because for her to smile like that, and then, <laughs> it must be somebody. But I, I learned something from there. Think about what God is doing in your life until the joy of it possesses your soul. That is when it becomes real. You meditate on it, but you need one thing. You need the renewing of the mind. It's very important. This 2021 is our year of good report. But you need your mind renewed to be able to see what God is doing for you. Please. You know exactly what is perfect. What is the will of God for you? What is acceptable for you? Because your mind will determine your altitude for the year. I want you to look at your neighbor and say it's time for a mind change. It's tell somebody it's time for a mind change. It's time for a mind. Can I tell you the truth? The most prosperous person here is not the most anointed, but is the most enlightened in the mind. If you can think it, you become it. If you can see it, you can feature in it. If your mind can upgrade, you can feature in it. Now, I, I need to show you this as we close. I need to show you this. If you go to Hebrews 5 verse 13. Hebrews 5 verse 13. Look at what he said here. He said, for everyone that useth milk is unskilled in the word of righteousness, for he is a babe. So scripturally, a babe is someone. So any day you are called a babe, ask them, clarify, please. <laughs> clarify. Okay? So, but strong meat. My, my, I, I pray for everyone here. 2021, strong meat. That's what you'll be dealing with. Amen? Because if you are eating strong meat, you'll be experiencing strong things. Strong meat. It's time to say no more milk. For two years, you are still drinking milk. You know, the challenge here is that you cannot stay in the place of the milk and experience the blessings of the meat. So your maturity is necessary for your upgrade in life. Now, look at what he said here. He said, but strong meat belongeth to them that are full of age. Even those who by reason of use have their senses or their mind exercised to discern both good and evil. So you should renew your mind to the point that you know what is good for you. You know what is perfect, what is good, what is acceptable, will of God. It's still about your mind. So that when things that are not for you, when they come your way, you say, this is not for me. This is not just for me. For 2021, this is not just for me. Because you have the mind set to be able to know that this is not for you. And when the right things do
do come your way, you say, exactly, this is what I've been praying for. So our prayer this evening is to ask God for a change of mind. But basically it comes from the word of God. But we can ask him to change our minds. Let me tell you the truth. If your mind is renewed right now, you are going to divorce a lot of people from your life. You understand that? No, 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 no. This person is not for me. This decision is a wrong decision. Things will begin to just take its shape in your life. You begin to understand the things to do and the things you're not supposed to do. And that's why we must make this prayer by faith. I want you to bow down your head and ask God. And say, Lord, renew my mind in this season. Renew my mind in this season. Pray that prayer from your heart. No more old things. No more old mindset. I won't go back. Can't go back to the way you used to be. Before your presence came and changed me. I won't go back. Can't go back to the way he used to be before your presence came and changed me i won't go back I won't go back no more. In the name of Jesus, we'll pray. Now we're going to pray using our faith. You see, there are so many things that belong to your past that God wants you to cut off from. Maybe some of them, you don't even know them. I want us to pray by faith. Anything that we are holding on to that has become a hindrance to the new things God wants to do in our lives. We're going to pray right now and say, Father, may those things be cut off from our lives in the name of Jesus. Now open your mouth and pray that prayer. Pray it as if you mean it. Lord, whatsoever belongs to my old, cut it off in my life right now. Cut it off out of my life. In the name of Jesus, cut it out of my life. Cut it out of my life now. Pray that prayer. Say, Lord, reveal the things that belong to my old so I can let them go. Open up your mouth and pray that prayer. Say, Lord, touch my mind. Enlighten me. Show me the way. That I will let go of things that limit me. Open up your mouth and pray that prayer. Thank you for watching this video. Bless us with a like if you enjoyed this video and make sure you subscribe to stay connected to new videos. Zion City Gate Church, we love you. Stay blessed.